So much has been written and speculated upon surrounding Jim Morrison's life, death, and after death that it is no longer enough to address just the facts. One must now also address the self-perpetuating mythos that has developed and enveloped the facts. That's from Rumors, Myths, and Urban Legends Surrounding the Death of Jim Morrison by Thomas Little in uh, Secret and Suppressed, Band Ideas, and Hidden History, uh, edited by Jim Keith, and this is a Feral House Press book. It's a very good book. I highly recommend it. Um, in any case, um, uh, welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth, and uh, I want to remind everybody that this week on my blog talk radio show on Friday, I'm going to have Christopher Knowles on. Um, he is best known for secretsun.blogspot.com. Uh, he has also written a couple of books. Uh, if you go to my episode page for him, you will find uh, links to all of his material. I uh, highly recommend that you check him out and check out his blog and his books. And also, uh, come by my show on Friday. That will be from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Blog Talk Radio. The link is in the description box. Uh, and now down to business. Um, apparently, just like the markets need to know that there is stability there and corporations need to know that everything is stable enough and they're not going to be foisted on their petard by being required to actually pay fucking taxes or do anything else for that matter for the good of the economy and the country there also apparently needs to be some sense of stability and security within our American injustice system. Because Congress is now debating whether to make certain provisions of the Patriot Act permanent. Well, apparently, the rendition experts, the torturers, and the people that go out in the street and collect the would-be homegrown terrorists and shuttle them off to Syria and other places to torture and keep them prisoner for indefinite periods of time on no charges, violating every constitutional fucking provision that there is, and having no fucking accountability or oversight, need to have the security to know that this provision's just going to keep going on. We don't even need to take the time to reconsider it, because we need to know. We can shatter people's fucking constitutional rights. We can step on people's fucking face into the future. And we can continue to round people up for no fucking reason at all. And put them in prisons in a foreign fucking country under a fucking dictatorship. Where they can be tortured indefinitely, waterboarded, and electrocuted, and ha have battery acid poured on them to make them fucking talk. Our injustice system needs to have the security and sense of certainty that our markets do. So they know they can continue to pocket billions of dollars in the markets and not actually do anything about job creation or helping the economy. Our injustice system needs that sense of security as well. So apparently they are poised to pass a permanent extension to the provisions of the Patriot Act. And I say, fuck you, mother fucking fuckers. Thank you.